Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Event Worldwide, and we are on September 8th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at the last two days of imagery of our sun, as we saw two M-class solar flares. No major solar event, but a couple coronal mass ejections, plasma filament eruptions, and just recently there, another M-class solar flare. Having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming, big prominence on the right-hand side there in the northern region of our sun. Sunspot region now coming in for an Earth-facing view. Having a look here, outgoing, this is where we saw large plasma filament eruption on the left-hand side, and as well our most recent M-class solar flare right there from that fiery sunspot region. Pointing out here the last two days of events. I want to thank you all for watching right now. Pressing play, please don't forget to press the thumbs up if you enjoy these updates. With daily events worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Big plasma shot there. Look at that thing. And then large coronal mass ejection. And that is in an Earth-directed fashion. CME is on its way. And then fiery Earth-facing sunspot region right there. Instantly put us into an R1 radio blackout. Amazing images here. Brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed with daily events worldwide. Having a look at multi-spectrum here. Pointing out the big northern coronal hole that is getting ready for an Earth-facing party. And then another light here. Just some amazing, stunning images of our active nine sunspot regions. Having a look at these sunspot regions in motion. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1. Minor radio blackout impacts expected for brief intervals. Solar winds are coming in at 346 kilometers per second. And that is slightly down from yesterday. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see here, minor M-class solar flare and a short duration M-class solar flare yesterday. Otherwise, it's been in the low C range. Geomagnetic activity hopping up to a 2 today. Minor geomagnetic ex, uh, instability was expected. NOAA finally updating their Space Weather Prediction Center here, showing that most recent coronal mass ejection expected arrival the 10th. So 48 hours from now, we will be impacted by this most recent coronal mass ejection from a plasma filament eruption. Looks like it'll be arriving late on the 10th and impacting all day on the 11th. Having a look at ISWA space prediction spiral, showing the same thing, large coronal mass ejection headed towards Earth. As we've got some particular planetary alignments happening right now, Even a planetary solar cycle that we're going through right now. Having a look at the aurora forecast for tonight. Probability of aurora about 10%. 10 percent. Now let's get to earthquakes here. Most recently, a very deep earthquake, 4.4 Fiji Islands, 520 kilometer depth. And that's the deepest the past 24 hours. Largest being here, 6.0 Tonga. And that was yesterday. 6.0 magnitude earthquake, Tonga. There's been lots of activity through Solomon Islands, 5.3 there. New Caledonia, and as well the Philippines. Sulangan, Philippines, 4.9. Earthquakes here off the coast of Japan. A little too close to Fukushima. 4.9 there off the coast of Kamchatka. Not much to report across the Aleutian Islands. North American Plate, largest 
Earthquakes being here, Thatcher, Utah with a 3.4 and as well a 3.8 earthquake, White City, New Mexico. No major swarms to talk about, although the swarms at the springs are increasing and seen about 100. Notable earthquake here, 4.5 earthquake, Cuba, 4.2 there, Guatemala, South American plate, interesting activity, Tino Gasta, Argentina, 123 kilometer depth. Don't normally report earthquakes there in Argentina, but we are today. Quiet across the African plate and into Arabia. An Indian plate, a little eerily quiet through that region. And as well, the West Pacific, Northwest Pacific. A lot of the activity coming this week across the Pacific Northeast and as well, the North Atlantic. Largest earthquake this week, the last seven days, being the 6.0 yesterday in Tonga. This is having a look at our last seven days for earthquakes around the world. If you live in an earthquake-prone zone, be ready, my friends and family. Hashtag no fear here. It's all about aware and prepared. Notable activity there, the South Pacific into the Antarctic plate. Got to wonder where all the pressure is being released. This is a way to see it. Having a look at our SO2 forecast brought to you by our vents, our 66 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. Sulfur dioxide emissions have been on the rise recently with the most recent volcanic eruptions in Iceland. Notable plumes here brewing through Western Russia. A lot of wildfires there that are burning. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia, South Africa. Regular regions with sulfur dioxide from the active volcanoes. But something has erupted in the Southern Hemisphere. I know the Heard volcano in the South Indian Ocean has been active. All of this SO2 in the Southern Hemisphere right now might be coming from an eruption there. I know the White Island in uh, White Island volcano is erupting in northern New Zealand as well. Having a look at the North Pacific, Kamchatka, and southward to Japan, all of the volcano islands in between, and as well notable SO2 coming out of Nova Rupta volcano region through the Aleutian Islands. Now let's have a look at weather. We do have a tropical system grinding up into the Gulf this week, bringing in heavy rains, strong winds, as well a big system moving into the West Coast for the weekend, Friday into Saturday. And then long-range forecast, same thing, big systems coming in from the north on the west, and as well a couple tropical systems developing through the central Atlantic but mostly high pressure ridge and cool across North America for the next seven days. Notable activity here, high pressure ridge off the coast of Europe, low pressure system stuck in between high pressure ridge, Russia and the North Atlantic. That thing's going to stick around. Most likely will bring some flood watches through the regions, especially the higher mountainous regions, and most likely will see some impacting heavy snow. Monsoon rains and as well remnants of the typhoon that just ravaged Hong Kong, grinding up into northern India tonight. Long range forecast showing tropical system developing, but not developing into a typhoon. Overlooking Australia and New Zealand. Multiple snowy systems south of you in New Zealand. You might get a few inches here and there over the next little bit. Tropical system here, cyclone, will be affecting you in the long range for Friday the 13th. Then long range forecast watch for big disturbance across northern Australia. Leave you here looking at the North Pacific. Multiple systems and remnants of typhoons racing across the North Atlantic, or sorry, North Pacific. And they're all rising up over the Rocky Mountain Pass. 
They're getting colder as they dip up into the northern polar vortex. And that is what our polar vortex looks like right now when things are setting up already. As the winds are starting to swirl around and get stronger in the north. As winter quickly approaches, we had a very cool night here last night. Only getting up to 10 degrees Celsius. But very chilly start already. And early. This is a look at our southern polar vortex right now. Strong winds. Having a look at the rest of the world, our trade winds, equatorial winds. And then our northern polar vortex. Things are setting up. Let's just have a look at last year versus this year. Weren't quite as set up last year as we are right now. So, I hope you're ready for a long, cold, and wet winter. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, please don't forget to smack that like button. And if you're still here watching, you're amazing. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.